All right, guys, this is a very simple tutorial on how to use core data in Swift UI. It is the simplest way I have found to uh, to demo core data. It is a problem I ran into while building my own apps, and I wanted to do something very, very fast to show you the fastest way to simply implement core data into your app without any unnecessary additional material. With that said, let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do is start with a single view app, name it anything, doesn't matter. Uh, check use core data so that the app creates all the necessary backend for us. The first thing we're going to do is go into core data test the into the data model and create a new entity, name it names. And make sure on the right you select manual and then also current product module from the module. This is very important. Create an attribute called names or name and make it a string. Then we're going to create a new file for the class and call it names. Here we're going to use core data. Make sure you, you import it. Create a class called names and it's a NS manage object. Within it, we'll create our variable called name, which corresponds to the data model that we just created. From there, we can actually start building the front end of the app. We're going to have to create a couple of uh, environment variables so that the app knows uh, where to access the core data from. And the first, the first thing we need to do is create this at environment uh, entity and call it a managed object context and give it a variable name of something memorable like managed context. Second thing is we need to uh, fetch the create a fetch request uh, so we can pull the data from core data. The entity's names is the first thing we created, and uh, it's a, a sort descriptor. It doesn't matter for the moment, but you could do ascending or descending, and uh, give it a variable name. I uh, I use names here. Then fetch fetched results of type names. Uh, fix any any typos you may have made. And then uh, we're going to start by making a button which will uh, insert a name into our core data database. So make a VStack and make a very simple button where we will say that the label is simply something like add name. Uh, and in the action you'll see in a second, we will simply, every time the button is pressed, we will insert a new name into the database. So we're going to let new name equal names, and then context is managed context. New name dot name equals uh, John or something else. This could change depending on the context of your app, but right now it's hard coded as John. Try self manage context dot save will save this uh, name into the database. That's it. That's all it takes to save something into the database. If we look at uh, the app right now, we'll just see a simple button on the user interface. And if we try to click it, it will appear as if nothing's really happening, like so. Uh, but actually, it is working in the background. We just need to uh, find a way to display the data from the database. So the way we do that is we create a list with a for each loop. Um, we input the names variable in there. The ID we use as self because we don't have an actual ID in the database. And for each name, we're going to simply output a text label with name.name, .name, and that should work. There we go. It shows us all the different names uh, that we input, and that's it. It's how a very simple tutorial on how to use core data.